<sighs> finally, after a long day of doing nothing, can finally relax and do some more nothing. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. No! Head on. <laughs> Why? Why? Why does this commercial play every single time? Every time I turn on the TV. Wait a second. There is another way. Another way to get rid of these commercials. They're clouding my brain every day. Wait, what's that doing on the floor? Somebody's gonna trip over it. Ever since the rise of online streaming services over the past decade, cable subscriptions have been going down like crazy. And with this came people converting their living rooms to home theaters. A simple way to watch all your media without breaking the bank with your local cable provider. So today we're going to explore the basics of turning that old Dell computer we have lying around into something that can play the latest Dr. Katz episode. It's real. Now there are countless sites and tools to help you do this, as the community is growing immensely and every day there are new tools and programs for you to get your media fix. So today we're just going to go over the basics and what you need to get started. There's so much you can do, it would take too long for just one video, but don't worry I'll go over some more features that this piece of open source software can do. The first thing we'll need, of course, is the old computer of your choice. If you have a powerful machine already, or a custom built PC, that's your choice to use it. But if you're looking for something, I recommend going to eBay or Craigslist and looking up an old Dell or HP workstation. Oftentimes, companies will get rid of these old systems by either selling them to third parties or recycling them. So why not purchase one and put it to good use? What I did in particular, if you want to follow along, was that I went on eBay and looked around for a system that's a little less than $100, with a hard drive included. Yes, I'm serious. You gotta look out for that kind of stuff. I also have to stress that you pay attention and look at every facet of the product before you're buying it and confirming what it is before you hit that checkout button. You don't want to get scammed now, do you? Another thing to confirm is how you're going to connect your machine to your TV. Most of these workstations don't have an HDMI port in the back, but instead a VGA port. This means that only picture will be seen, but no sound will be heard. So if that's the case with your machine, we are going to need another cable for sound. If you plan on surround sound, make sure you consult your surround sounds manual on how you'll connect the sound to the computer. For the keyboard, I have a Logitech all-in-one just in case, but I bought this neat little third-party remote that has all sorts of hot buttons to customize with, similar to the Wiimote and how its pointer goes across the screen. Next, since we are going as simple as possible, I recommend using an external drive to host all your media, as I also covered in my last video here. Check it out if you want more organizational tips for your media as well. And lastly, a USB stick to install the operating system on. The first thing we'll need to do is put our operating system onto the USB drive. For this instance, we'll be using a free one called OpenELEC, a variant on the open source software known as Kodi, which I also shown a variant in my Portable Media Center video here. First go to OpenELEC.tv, download, and select the latest build here. Click this download button below, and the file should start downloading. Next, plug in your USB drive and format it so that there's plenty of room for our operating system. Next, install Win32 Disk Imager if you haven't already. Once the download is finished, unzip the IMG file. Select this folder icon and select our file. Select which drive we want to put it in, which in this case should be our USB drive, then click right. A pop-up should appear once it's finished. Afterwards you can safely eject our USB drive. Next we are going to hook up our computer. It'll vary depending on how you are going to do it, but in this case consider this a demo if you will. Plug in all the necessary components, the power, the video cables, the sound, keyboard, media storage, and then finally our USB drive. 
Once everything is hooked up, turn on our computer. This is where it gets kind of tricky. Once it boots up, it needs to detect an operating system to continue. But since we are installing one, wait until you see the splash screen and press the F12 key for the boot menu. It'll vary depending on what kind of computer you have, so I suggest looking through any manuals you have, but more than likely it'll be the F12 key. Another menu will pop up that'll display some options. Select USB device, and the Open ELEC splash screen should be detected. Select Quick Install, then the hard drive that we'll be installing it to. Then hit Yes. It should then start installing, which will take up less than a minute or so. Once that's done, hit Reboot. Take the USB drive out, and the computer should boot up into the setup wizard. The next part is how Open ELEC will be set up on your home network, in which case you can have it directly connected via Ethernet port if you want better performance, or a Wi-Fi adapter. If that latter is the case, select the network name you're on and enter the password. Hit next and the main menu should appear. And it's time to customize. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is set up some basic features. Let's start by adding our movies and TV shows that are on our drive. First go to the videos, files, then the location of where you put your media. Press C to open the context menu, then set content. Press the arrows either up or down to select movies, click OK, then hit yes. Then your media should start scanning the files. This process involves letting the scrapper look for any information on the movie like the description, artwork, and whatever else it needs in order to create a beautiful layout through its menu. Next we are going to repeat the process but with the TV shows instead. It's the same thing but instead of movies you select TV shows. Once they're all scanned in you should be able to see them as their own separate menus and a list of each movie and TV show episode in order. Next what we're going to do is set up our weather, which will be pretty simple. Go to settings and select none to bring up some of the weather services. Select the service you want and then enter the zip code that you're at. There will now be a temperature gauge in the main menu. Next we're going to install our first skin, which changes the look of Open ELEC entirely. From the settings menu go to appearance, select skin and choose from a variety of skins available. If one stands out to you, select and install. If you don't like it, you can always switch it from the main menu here or just select the skin again. This media center allows you to freely explore around without worrying about ruining anything, so take your time and select the skin you would like. Lastly, we're going to discuss add-ons which is what really makes Kodi as an open source software really stand out. Essentially, there are plugins that make it have all sorts of capabilities. For instance, let's install YouTube. Select Videos, then select Video Add-ons. Scroll all the way down until you see YouTube, then install it. Once it's done though, you can find it under Video Add-ons. And you can freely search for any YouTube video you want, or link your YouTube account and watch your subscriptions right there. Feel free to explore other add-ons, there are plenty to choose from, especially third-party ones that you can research on your own, that range from creating your own channels by sorting your media into categories, or launching external applications from the software itself. Kodi is an ever-growing piece of software, and as long as people are willing to cut the cable, there will be an audience for this extremely useful software. And the best part? No more commercials. Head on. Apply directly Get out of here, forehead. lady. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you like my basic tutorial. I will be definitely going over more Cody projects in the future. Be sure to check out my other videos as well, like my comedic video that I wanted to try. I like experimenting. What can I say? Be sure to check out Maximum Play as well, where I play some video. Because you know that's original here. I do what I want.